Now, with this current tension, the diplomatic tensions between India and Canada, what does that mean for all of those students who plan to head to Canada in the upcoming months uh, to study, who've got the university admissions? Do they have reason to be worried right now? Joining me here on 6 p.m. Prime is Karan Gupta, who is an international education counselor. Karan, pleasure having you here with us uh, on India Today. Can you just explain to us, you know, what should students be wary of or watchful of? Do they have a reason to be concerned right now? Because I know there are many many out there who are currently having plans of traveling to Canada, who've got the admission in place uh, and are going to be there in just about a month or two and wondering if all of this will affect their plans. Absolutely. Now, we know that there are 8 lakh international students in India, out of which 40% are Indian, and that's nearly 3.2 lakh Indian students. The fees paid by these students are three to five times higher than what's paid by domestic students. And Indian students alone contribute nearly $4 billion to the Canadian economy. In a way, you can say that the entire private college system in Canada is funded by Indians. And this entire system will collapse if Indian students are prevented from studying in Canada. Now, there are three main problems that potential students are going to face. One is visas. Yesterday, our government announced stopping of visas for Canadians. Canada, in a tit-for-tat move, can do pretty much the same. In fact, a Canadian university in Hyderabad yesterday mentioned that students should not even apply for the giant semester because they're not going to get visas. Only try for August of 24, and that too depends on how the political situation plays out. The application process for student visas was anyway difficult, time-consuming, document-heavy, and it took more than three months. Now this process may become even tougher with the Canadian government trying to limit the number of students who want to come to Canada. The second problem that potential students are going to face is admissions. Over the last years, Indian student applications to top universities like McGill, British Columbia, Toronto, etc. skyrocketed and they became really competitive. Now, with the negative rhetoric and the political issue, the universities are going to be less likely to admit top students. On the other hand, unranked universities offering diploma programs they would see a fall in the number of Indian students because the Indian government themselves may discourage students from traveling to Canada. And the third and most important is security. Our government issued an advisory warning Indian students of the deteriorating security environment in Canada. And after COVID, parents are anyway concerned about the security of their children. They want destinations where the children can come home more easily. But because the political leadership in Canada is siding with radical elements, Parents are already concerned that the children may not be safe in Canada and Such the children might be Such a circumstance, Karan, uh, for students who are to travel to Canada right now, what would your advice be to them? Do you think they should stall? They should hold off for some time? I would say wait and watch and see how the situation plays out. See what happened with Russia and Ukraine. Right in the middle of their studies, we had to pull back all our students from Ukraine. They are back in India now. Many of them lost a year. I would tell students, wait for a bit, see how the situation plays out. If you need to defer your admissions to Jan, so be it, safety comes first. Uh, do you also believe that the government here plays a role in ensuring the protection of these students and ensuring that you know, they can help them in some way to uh, ensure that you know, the education isn't hampered? So again, when we got the students back from Ukraine, and again, I'm referring to that because that was the most recent incident that took place um, and we can we actually have precedent that, yes, we got these kids back and the government tried their best to integrate them back into the education system here. I believe that we'll do the same thing if we have to bring back students from Canada. All right. Uh, Karan, request you to stay on with me. I know there are a lot of questions right now doing the rounds about... Uh, uh, you know, the visa process that's underway right now, whether it impacts those who want to travel to Canada, etc. Let's just break that down for our viewers. Karan, uh, request you to stay on with me. Now, what happens for anyone who has a valid visa? Are you going to face a problem? What happens to your current visa? There is no bar whatsoever on travel. It's important to highlight here that while you have a visa agency which issues visas to Canadians to travel to India, that's in fact been uh, uh, suspended, put on hold. There's no bar on travel right now. Flight operations continue normally. So your current visa still very much valid. Can you travel to India, uh, Canada, I beg your pardon. If you have, in fact, scheduled travel, there's no bar whatsoever. You can go ahead and travel without any problems. There's no bar on Indian travelers. 
if uh, your child, if your loved one is in Canada on an existing visa, again, you'll face no problem whatsoever because uh, valid Canadian visa holders have no problem. The only issue will be if there is a person applying for a new visa or going through a visa process because that then will be put on hold. If you've planned a holiday to Canada, should you go ahead and reschedule it? Well, that's for you to take a decision on based on the advisory. But if you choose to go ahead with your travel plans, there will be no problem. If you have a valid visa, you can go ahead and travel again. Now, these are, in fact, uh, some of uh, the details that are very, very clear right now about the visa. And what's uh, at this point, the message is very clear, Karan, that, you know, for Indians right now traveling to Canada or for Indians in Canada who want to come back, if they have a valid visa, there's no problem whatsoever. So I know there are a lot of Indian students right now in Canada who are extremely concerned. What's your message to them? Do they really have reason to worry now? So once again, you're absolutely right. Students who have a visa, who are looking to travel now, they can. Students who are in Canada, they can stay on the visas. They can come back to India. Nothing has changed there. What has changed is the perception. And students in Canada need to be careful. There are protests. The government has issued an advisory. They've advised students to register on the Madad application and the Madad website. And they've told students to get in touch with the Indian embassy and the Indian consulates around Canada. Canada is not as safe as it used to be. And that's what our government is telling us. It's in the best interest of students who are in Canada to be careful, be vigilant. And if the situation deteriorates, they should consider coming back home. All right, Karan, thanks very much for getting us all of those details. You've given us great clarity. And I'm sure for viewers out there who have loved ones in Canada or are doing travel uh, for education purposes, they've got a lot more clarity on what needs to be done. So thanks very much for joining us here on Internet. My pleasure.